Okay, so since we started our tutorial regarding the list on our previous video, for this video, my friends, we will be having our indexing on our list. Okay, so without further ado, let's start our discussion regarding the list index. Okay, so for this video, we will be having our discussion regarding how we can assess items inside our Python list that we have created. Okay, so every items inside a Python list are indexed. Again, when we say index, we have actually, the Python actually have an assigned specific number in each of the item inside our list. Therefore, each item has assigned index number. <laughs> I just repeat it actually. <laughs> anyway, so in calling the items, you'll just call them using their assigned index number and for the syntax list variable and the index number again my friends if you have already watched our video tutorial regarding the first video tutorial of the list we have tackled there how how we can number the items inside the list no? Okay, so this is just a recap. So index numbering, as you can still, still remember, I said there that the first item inside our list is considered as the index 0. So here it is. And the second item is the index 1. Third item is the index 2. Fourth item is the index 3. And the last item, so what, what, whatever amount of items you wanted to be included in your list, that is considered as the X. So item X will be our indexed X. Just don't forget that the first uh, item is index 0, not indexed 1. A lot of programmers are making some mistakes about it. Okay? So for our task, we should now create a list of financial market technical indicators, which are the moving average, relative strength index, stochastics, standard deviation, Fibonacci, Bollinger Bands, MACD, Parabolic SAR, and print each item using their corresponding index numbers. So basically, this is just almost the same with our previous task, and the only difference is that we, were, uh, we will now be about to print each item using their corresponding index numbers. And if you can see this, let's count our indicators inside the list. Moving average to 1, 2, 3, 4, standard deviation 5, 6, 7, 8. So all in all, we have 8 different financial market technical indicators and it is actually from index 0 up to index 7. Okay, so let's start now our task. Please open now your Jupyter Notebook and we can now start coding. <music> Okay, we are now here on our uh, Jupyter Notebook. So let's have first our title. So list index space here. Don't forget the space. In having a title, by the way, just a tip, my friends. It must be double hashtag at the very beginning. Okay, so mark down and run. Okay, so for the list uh, index, actually, this is just the same, our list before. So the only difference is that we will trying to call uh, them one by one by using their uh, index number assigned. So in having our calling regarding the index number, we should have used here a square bracket based on our syntax. Okay, so if you forget the syntax, here's the syntax. Let's go back to our syntax. So as you can see, list variable, which is this is equals to the, to the uh, technical indicator. So list variable. Then, as you can see here, we have here the square bracket. Okay. So technical indicators, then square bracket. If we will be having here zero, the output actually will be moving average. Because the moving average is the index zero here. Relative strength index is the index 1. Stochastics will be the index 2. Up to the last 
item in our list which is the parabolic star the index 7 so 0 to 7 all in all 8 indicators in our list or 8 items inside our list so let's try it so let's run answer is moving average okay so let's try to call them one by one one two three four five six seven a total of eight so zero one two three four five six and seven so the output should be moving average on the first row on the second row the relative strength index third row stochastics fourth row standard deviation fifth row fibonacci sixth row bollinger band seventh row uh, MACD or MACD and the last row and the eighth row the parabolics are okay so let's try to run it I hope we are correct <laughs> anyway so let's click run or again for the uh, technique on running using just your keyboard for Mac users it is shift plus return and for Windows users it is shift plus enter okay so let's run and we have now our output moving average relative strength index stochastic standard deviation fibonacci bollinger bands macd parabolic so and we are correct that's how list indexing works my friends don't forget that because you will be uh, using that idea and that technique of calling out an item inside the list on our next video tutorial on have a higher level of using the list okay so i hope you learned something from this video tutorial but we have actually here a question my friends what if we don't know how many items are there in the list and we want to print out the last item only because actually here we count we count how many our technical indicators included in the list. We count moving average up to the parabolic star. And I said before that the total is 8. That's why I come up with, a, with an idea that we can now call index 0 up to index 7 because the only total is 8. But what if there's a lot of items inside our list that is what this question is addressing. What if we don't know how many items are there in the list and we wanted to print out the last item only? So if that is the case, what should we do? Actually, the answer for that question, for that problem, for that specific scenario is the usage of the negative indexing. And negative indexing will be our next topic okay <laughs> and i hope you learned something from this list index this is actually a positive list index our next uh topic will be all about negative indexing if you learned something from this video don't forget to like share and comment below and of course to subscribe to this channel for more related contents for our community you can join our community in the video description below there's the link for our facebook group facebook page okay so this is the engineer trader my friends your partner from learning to earning and as always May your trades be great. Bye-bye.